the most critical piece of equipment you could buy is a tripod. There's a few things to consider when you're looking at tripods. First off would be the build quality. How much weight will this thing support? It can be fairly lightweight if you're going to be shooting with a DSLR or a smartphone, but the heavier your camera, the sturdier your tripod needs to be. Hi, I'm Greg, and welcome to my gear cave. So today I've put together a selection of things for you to consider, whether you're going to be shooting with a DSLR or a smartphone. First thing you need to do is decide the style of video work that you're going to be doing. If it's primarily going to be a stand-up in front of the camera, like I'm doing right now, the most critical piece of equipment you could buy is a tripod. Another critical thing is how high will it extend? You want to make sure that the tripod will come up to at least your head level because that's where you want the camera to be. You never want to be looking down at your tripod. Other things to consider are the way the camera attaches to the tripod itself. This one has a quick release plate. This comes in handy because you might have several different cameras. You might want to uh, use a few different camera support systems. And then if you have common quick release plates, you can leave them mounted to all your cameras and then quickly move from one to the other. This has, uh, comes uh, equipped with a whatchamacallit, <laughs> but it's actually known as a quarter 20. It's an incredibly common screw in the photographic world. Every DSLR, every point and shoot, every video accessory is going to have a quarter 20 female. So what you do is you pop off your quick release plate, you quickly screw it in here righty tighty, tighten it up, wind it up, and then simply slide it in. This one has a, uh, this head is unique because it has a ball leveler. And what that does is uh, when you loosen it off, it allows you to use the little bubble level right here. And you center that up, lock it off. And what happens is it will ensure that when you do a nice smooth pan, that your horizon is perfectly level and your tilts are perfectly straight. And if you think that this thing might break your bank, you can look for something like this. It's a compact style. It's going to be a lot less expensive than a regular tripod, especially if you're going to be doing something like uh, a sit down presentation in front of your computer. You can rest it on a table or you can rest it on a shelf uh, and it won't break your bank. You may want to have something that's more cinema verte, like a handheld look. Well then, I would recommend a monopod. Um, this one is, uh, is kind of unique. It was one of the first out on the market that has uh, these little fold-out feet. Um, which will magically let it stand on its own. Now, I wouldn't trust this with my $15,000 video camera in a windstorm, but it, uh, it will work quite well for DSLRs or a smartphone. And then if you've got one that has a flip-out display, you can do your selfie style with uh, a DSLR instead of just with your smartphone. Now, <clears throat> if you're using a smartphone or if you are using a smartphone and a DSLR, you can still use all of these devices if you buy yourself a little smartphone adapter. Now this one <clears throat> is great because it will fit virtually any size, uh, any size smartphone because it slides open and closed. And then you can simply pop your phone in, tighten it up, and then snap it in the same way you do with the DSLR to do your stand-ups. Other things you should look for in the monopod is very similar to the tripod. You want to make sure that it's going to extend to your head level. Um, and 
this one uh, also gives you the ability to do some fairly smooth panning because of the little ball uh, joint in the foot base. Another interesting thing about monopods is that <clears throat> they will help stabilize your handheld shots. The, the leg itself will act as a counterbalance while your arm will act as the suspension and gimbal. So it'll give you much smoother moves than you'll get from just hand holding the device. But if what you really want is just that everyday handheld look, then I would recommend you look for a selfie stick. Things to look for again are build quality. This has got a nice rubber handle. The shaft is made out of aluminum. It's a twist lock to do uh, to extend it. Um, one of the things I like about this is it has a spring-loaded head and it also has, guess what, quarter 20s mounted on it. <clears throat> you can snap your phone in and get the perfect shelfie. But what I like about this, and another feature that you should look for, is that this spring-loaded head pops off or unscrews and leaves you, yes, with another quarter 20. You can mount uh, point-and-shoot cameras, and this one in particular has uh, a sports mount, or uh, what's also commonly known as a GoPro mount. So you can swap this out for your smartphone, your point-and-shoot camera, or your GoPro. And there are literally hundreds of these available on the market. Well, that wraps up our camera support video. I hope it was helpful. Please leave us a comment below or send us an email. And I'll see you next time in the Gear Cave.